Hello. Well, this is a bit of a thing. This is take two of the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 9th of April 2022. So it's more like the Sunday wrap. It's a long story. I remember recommending the Windows camera app before. And now it stopped doing audio. Actually, investigations. It's done this with a lot of people. Um, it complains about lack of privacy. Privacy settings are fine. Uninstall, reinstall, do lots of other things. You might notice that my headset has changed from my Logitech to a Sennheiser. Okay, TLDR. Um, too long, didn't read. Um, it just seems to be the Windows camera app. Uh, Logitech headset works fine with everything else, but not with this. So obviously something's gone wrong. Um, so I'm going back over what happened yesterday. Um, bit of background. Um, I have no beer today. Long story short, it's downstairs. Um, and uh, yesterday I didn't actually go anywhere, despite the fact the Weatherspoons Beer Festival was on. I'll come back to that later, um, because things, you know, in fact, lots of things. Anyway, um, let me recap. The word or the phrase of the week, non-doms. Even more non-doming in the news today. Um, long story, however, I must stop saying that. Okay, so um, no one saying anything illegal has been done. Um, and let's be honest, I have an ISA. Okay, not on the same scale, but it means I don't pay tax. And it's sold as a tax avoidance. I think that's the term, um, mechanism. So all this stuff about them um, shouldn't do this, shouldn't do that. There's nothing illegal going on. It just looks very, very, very poor. Still taxes being paid and taxes a merry-go-round. Um, I suppose we could blame politicians of all hues because they make the laws and you can't really... Pe Blame people if they work within the laws. I don't see anyone shouting out that there must be exceptions and laws and all that sort of stuff. But, yeah, if you're living in a government house um, and you're married to a UK citizen, despite the fact they might have had a green card for a while, I have a feeling you should be paying all your tax here. Or not. Anyway, um, yeah, change the laws. <coughs> um, app of the week and um, uh, thank you to um, my friend uh, from last week I um, was mentioning audio hijack audio hijack hijack version 4 it's excellent there is loop back which integrates with it well they come as up here on the rogue amiga amiga website um, and they also do a podcasting bundle uh, which knocks the price down as well. So if you're thinking of that and you have a Mac, um, might want to have a look at their bundle prices. They are not bad at all. My app of this week, okay, it's a Mac app, but it's a Mac app for people who also use Windows and Linux. If you put a USB thumb drive into a Mac, it covers it with DS files and all sorts of files and what have you, which sometimes can cause problems with other operating systems. The app I bought, um, I think it was recommended on Mac Break Weekly, is a thing called Blue Harvest. Not cheap, eleven ninety nine, And basically what it does, it... Um, gets rid of all those files. So um, after I've been away and then I'm copying everything onto a USB thumb drive to go into my desktop PC, to go into my Synology, I can just wipe all those off. Non-resident, you just call it up as and when you need it, basically when you've copied something to your thumb drive and it gets rid of everything that doesn't need to be there. Recommended. It kind of just works, which is good. <laughs> Thing of the week, okay, blood. Mainly my blood and mainly my blood leaking. 
Okay, so last week I went to the Brew Monster Tap Room in Caerphilly, which isn't bad, by the way. Really fast Wi-Fi. Um, their beers are through kegenators, so there's no cask there at the moment. And the fridge, it's a bit empty, but the beers they have uh, are really good. Now, I had a pint and I had a can of something from Bristol Beer Factory, I think it was. And I was a little bit tiddly. Um, went to Morrison's, bought some sandwiches, coming to the bus stop at the top of a wall, jumped off the wall, went straight forward, landed on both knees, one knee, a bloody mess. Literally a bloody mess. And later on in the week, uh, opening a can of beans. Uh, it was a pole can. A uh, pull ring can, I should say, putting the top in another can to squeeze it and recycle it, and it slipped and it went between my thumb and forefinger. Really nice cuts in both, really bled like a stuck pig. Um, the one on the thumb is sort of semi healed, the one on the forefinger, well, had a plaster on it. I eventually managed to find a plaster um, after a number of hours. Um, I took the plaster off today and it still bled. So I found another plaster and that's going back on there. And I'm going to stock up on plasters. Um, because I did have a lot, but some of them are so old they've just sort of disintegrated. And these things happen. And as I get older... Um, my powers of recuperation and the clotting seem to have uh, degenerated, um, but uh, that's the thing. Um, Sunday morning, and this Sunday morning, a really hard frost. I'm kind of worried about my salad leaves. Potatoes haven't come through yet. They should be coming through. Uh, I suspect the frost has slowed them down a bit, or quite a lot, to be perfectly honest. Um but there you go. Oh, also planted the strawberry plants that came on the Friday before. They're in. Um, I don't think they're liking the cold too much, but um, the cold doesn't kill them off. So I am watering them and feeding them just to keep them going. Hmm. We'll see. Um, I got given some beer. Uh, I mentioned it all yesterday. I even held up the bottle like that. Um, it was proper IPA from Church Farm Brewery. Really, really, really good. B plus plus and a bit. It's really nice when people give you beers. It's even better when they give you beers, and they are great beers. Recommended. Never heard of them before. Um, and if I could find anything more by them, I would surely buy it. Um, it's not what I would call an IPA, but oh, it was nice. It was really nice. Umbral up to 0.17. Couple of new apps on there. Nothing really for me. Didn't mention any bug fixes. Uh, the Snowflake add on. That's still working well. I'm getting a lot of traffic through it. And I suspect I am helping people, especially with the world as it is at the moment. Apple's Worldwide um, Developers Conference, WWDC, has been announced June the 6th. IT Theatre par excellence. It's where you get the updates to iOS and macOS and all the operating systems announced and little bits of them shown off. And maybe a Mac Pro and maybe some other hardware. MacBook Airs, please. Um, that would be rather good. Uh, big question for me is, I saw the last one, uh, the one back in March, in Gloucester. So I was away. I feel like I should be away for this one as well. I'm thinking possibly Bristol. I found a lot of places in Bristol that I haven't been to before and I'd like to go to. I think so, although prices are a bit pricey. And I could be away for a while, so um, I could be more skint than I am now. Oh, the other thing, talking of beer for this week, is banked beer. Basically, beer with the hugest head you've ever seen, like a couple of inches. Um, I believe the technique is to hand pull a half into a pint glass, put it in the fridge, and then when someone comes to order a pint, you vigorously... Uh, 
pour the rest of the beer in or pump the rest of the beer in and you get a huge head. Uh, I think it's from the northeast. Hartlepool was mentioned. I like Hartlepool, especially the bar at the railway station. Um, it's a thing. It's all over beer Twitter. I wouldn't mind to try because apparently the head is a big thing up in the north. You know. Um, I've mentioned the bleeding. Yeah, still bleeding. Um, and yesterday, the Weatherspoons Beer Festival was on. I was going to go to Caffili. I might have even gone back to the Blue Monster Tap Room. Okay, here's the thing. Um, I have a list in um, TweetDeck called Transport. Stagecoach Wells are in there. All the early buses to Caffili were cancelled. Um, and then all the late buses back to Bedros were cancelled. And then Cumbran buses were cancelled. And Aberdeer buses were cancelled. And Merthyr buses were cancelled. All down to driver availability. I don't know whether it's COVID or whether it's the low um, rates of pay that they get or whether they're just pissed off and annoyed. But public transport isn't very good. I mean, okay, during the lockdown, the trains and the buses, you had a lot of staff who, well, basically put in their life on the line um, and kept the services running, but they weren't enough for the public. Definitely not enough for the public. And there's the timetables for the trains still haven't come back and the buses still haven't come back. Uh, as I've said before, public transport is for practically everyone bar the public. So I stayed in and I recorded this and I recorded this without the audio, you know, things. Anyway, um, oh, one last thing, YouTube enhanced uh, moderation. Apparently a lot of people on YouTube get a lot of comments that are unhelpful. Whereas me, um, I get them from people saying there's no audio, which is rather helpful um so if you have any comments youtube uh wordpress twitter me we whatever thank you very much and with a bit of luck there will be some audio i'll test it as well okay <laughs>